what is that? Let's start the step. And I'm making banana bread. First up, you need to <laughs> preheat to 180C, 30, 350F, 160C, fan force. So I'm gonna do that now. Now you need to Grease and flour loaf plan or lightly grease and line with baking paper. So you want to get one of these, that is a um, loaf pan. Now you want to get oil and flour. So you get your flour and your oil. And now, a cup. Oh shit. So I don't know that much. I don't even need a cup. I could just pour it into the loaf pan. I'll do whatever you do. Now pour that in. Grab a little painter thingy. Little paint brush thing. Ooh. Try not to splash it everywhere and mess up your workplace. So once you've done that, I put a little too much grease in there. That's fine, that's fine. We can just get that out by pouring it out back into the cup. What a bing bing bang bing bong. Now we need flour. That's what this is for. Open that shit up. Open this shit up. Now we're gonna pour it in. Like so. This is self raising flour. I don't know what type of flour you're meant to use, but whatever. That doesn't matter. It just says use flour. Oh god, it's turning into a liquid. But that's fine, that's fine. We need more flour by the looks of it. Okay, there we go. Shit, I got flour all over me. <laughs> okay, as you see, I've now done mine, and it's all ready. I'm gonna pop this thing in the whatever. And now, now on to part two. We need to get this out of the way and bring a bowl in. Now we need to place banana bread mix, eggs, milk, melted butter, and mashed bread. Um, bananas into a mixing bowl. Mix with a wooden spoon until combined. Pour batter into prepared loaf pan. So, we need to grab this. We need to mash it up by the looks of it. So, we're not gonna do that. We're gonna put it in the bowl and then mash it up. You, you heard, homie? So open this shit up. I'm gonna put it in little pieces because, I don't know. Because I can, I guess. Right, it says use medium sized bananas. I don't know if this is medium, but whatever. I mean, what's a large banana? Can you even get large bananas? I know small bananas. I don't know about large bananas. We need to mash that shit up. So, I'm going to get a mash of my gas up after this. I'm going to get one of these things and mash it up. Crap's not working. Okay, never mind. Don't do that. Actually, I'll cut it up with it. Why not? Let me start using it. Now we should be able to mash it up. Don't make me think. Okay, that's all mashed up. We now want to mix eggs and melted butter. Now you'll be needing two eggs. Okay. Smash that shit. Open up the egg so it pops into the whatever bowls. Oh, the eggshells all over me. Try not to get the eggshells in. Cause that would be really bad. Now we add two eggs. You'll now be needing one over two cups of 125 milliliters of milk. That's that. I think it is. Probably is. It says 1.2 or whatever. So I'm gonna fill that up with milk and put that in. Bam! Put the milk in. Blah 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 blah. Okay. Now you wanna pour this shit in. Bam! Milk in. Now, you'll be needing melted butter. You'll be needing two tablespoons of melted butter. So, I'm gonna get a spoon. I'm gonna get butter. Well, it is butter. I don't know if it is butter. It doesn't say butter or margarine on it. So I'm guessing it's butter. And then, you wanna get something that's microwavable. Because, I'm gonna use this. Get this out of the way. 
because you're gonna have to melt it a little bit. So grab that shit, two tablespoons, bam. Bam. Once that's in, put it in the microwave for 30 seconds. Or whatever. So it's melted. Okay, mine's melted kind of, but that's good enough. Because it'll melt over time. Just shake it up until it's all melted. Okay, that's good enough. Now you want to pour it in. I think. Yep, pour that shit in. As much as you can, get out. I'll use a spoon to get the rest out. You need all that you can get. Bam, bam, ma, 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 I don't own a wooden spoon, but I have a plastic spoon. It's probably the same. I don't know why you need a wooden one. But I'm guessing it means like a big spoon. It means. So you gotta mix this shit up. Okay, I believe mine is mixed up. Smells like shit. Well, bananas, it smells like bananas. Bananas are good, but yeah. Yeah. So, now that you've done that. You'll now need to pour batter in the prepared loaf pan. So, we're gonna grab our loaf pan. Yes, give enough room so we can pour it in. Now, we need to start pouring. I'm gonna do it like this. Like this. Like this, bro. Pour that shit in. Dun, 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 dun. Okay. Get as much as you can out. Cause you wanna get as big as you can, bro. My homie. My home bro. My cousin. Okay. Yeah. There we go. Bloody oh mate. Bloody oh. It's a bloody waffle right here. I tell you that much. Jake. Bake for 45 to 55 minutes. Banana bread is baked if it springs back when lightly touched in center. Allow to cool in pan for 10 minutes prior to inverting into onto a cooling rack. Serve warm, cold, or toasted. Okay. We now need to put it into the oven for one hour or 55 minutes. Whatever. Okay. Open up your oh, stuff in it. God damn it. We shall now be able to put in our bunny nugget. Shove that in. Yeah. Close this shit. Yeah. Now wait 50 minutes for it to cook. And then return. What are you doing, buddy? What are you doing? What are you doing? So I'm gonna use the banana masher thing. Uh, maybe, I don't know. Does that look, does look done? Nah! Okay, once it's done, and it's spring back and a little hard on the top bit, it should be done. Once you've done that, you need to wait 10 minutes before being able to put it into a fridge or something cold. So yeah. Now it's been 10 minutes I've waited, so I'm now going to put it onto a plate and chop it up, ready to put into the fridge. So, okay, I'll be needing a knife to cut it out. I'm gonna use a butter knife. I'm gonna get the edges. Be able to slide it out, no problem. Oh god, stuff went everywhere. And the bottom of this isn't burned, that's the best thing. Crap, got all over me. Okay, I figured out how not to get the bottom burnt like crap. I put extra flour on the bottom of it. Well I didn't I didn't do that on purpose, it just happened, but 
Yeah, more flour on the bottom leads to no burns on the bottom of it. It makes it amazing. So now what we need is to cut it up. And to cut it up, we require a knife. Bam! And cut try to cut it up in small pieces. Oh, that's hot! <laughs> Yeah, so amazing, like, oh my god, like, oh my god, Becky, it is beautiful. Ow! You can smell it, it's so good. Mmm, 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 smells good. Egg, 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 egg. Give me a sec. I'm gonna get a taste tester guy, a professional taste tester guy, coming. Okay. It's quite a bit of flour. But it's still going. So I'm now going to try it. Okay. I'm going to have to dust all the flour off from the bottom of it because it tastes like shit. But now we're going to taste test it. My taste buds. Mm. Mm. Okay, one thing I stuffed up is too much flour on the bottom of it. Burgin it. I can just rub that off. I should have done that before I cut up the cake. <sighs> Bloody hell. But whatever. So now that I have done that, all I gotta do is wipe off all the flour off the bottom of it. And it should taste bloody good, mate. Bloody, oh my god, like, oh my god. Oh, 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 oh. Whoa. I almost cut myself. The friendly neighborhood taste tester has arrived. The only problem is I put too much flour on the bottom of it. You're gonna have to dust it off, then eat it. That look good. Hi, okay. Eric, don't eat that side, eat the other side. Hi, I am your friendly neighborhood taste testy guy. I will now eat this and see if I die. Tastes like I might survive. Die! What? It's not too much flour? Yeah, very good. No, I told you to eat the bottom of it. Yeah! Mm -hmm. well, what, what do you say? I'll say that this tastes like a banana that has been dipped in flour and cooked. How many stars? Oh, I give it 10 stars out of 100. Sorry, <laughs> <Nice>, it's good. <laughs> 10 out of 10. 10 out of 100. <laughs> no, 10 out of 10. Sure, 10 out of 10. Yay! Yeah, yeah. And that's that's my taste tester guy. Ten out of ten. Okay. <laughs> because the cake had the flour on the bottom of it, what I did was is I pulled the crust off. Give it that to remove the flour from the crust bit. So now it's just yummy bread. And there's crust on top there. <laughs> okay, if you want more professional YouTube videos of cooking, make sure to subscribe to me, mate. 
Lottie did your step. So yeah, make sure to subscribe, make sure to leave a like, make sure to share it, and do all that shit. Because I'm awesome and I cook videos. I mean, I make cooking videos, professional ones. So, I'll see you later, mate.